Hey guys, so I don't normally make videos like this, but I figured I would show you how I do it. Basically, um, I'm trying to plan for next year. So I know that some curriculums offer discounts in the spring and the summer. And I have free time right now because uh, my businesses are not like crazy in the winter. So in the summer and the spring, forget about it. But right now I have time. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to calculate what curriculum do I have? What should I buy for each child? You know, what what would make sense? So I had already purchased some extra workbooks from BJU Press. And I did that um, because, number one, I already had the teacher's guides. So I didn't want them to change the edition. And then it'd be harder to get a workbook a few years from now. So I went ahead and bought some extra BJU Press workbooks. And then I also thought it might be a good idea, just if I had extra money, might as well just go ahead and pre-buy some curriculum. It's, you know, an investment. And also I did hear that our country may experience a wood pulp shortage. Um, has to do with another country and it getting brought here. And they said it could cause paper shortages. And I thought, well, I don't want to not be able to get the curriculum or it to go way up in price. So I went ahead and bought stuff. So Basically, I'm just going to show you how I do things. Um, I, I kind of make some different lists. So what I did was I go to like CLE's website, Christian Light Education. I go to BJU Press. I go to Christian Book. And I kind of think, what curriculum would Audrey like for third grade? And I, I write, you know, BJU Press. Okay, is it old videos, new videos? How long is each video? I try to calculate in my mind. How much attention span would Audrey give to that? I write the discount pricing that I get from the Homeworks by Precepts Consultants with BJU Press, which my discount, I'm going to be meeting her in April. And then that's when I'll put in my order. And then just whenever their books are available, they'll ship it. And then usually in the summertime, they turn on the videos and you can start. It's usually like July or August. I, I don't know. Maybe it's June. You'd have to check with them. But I calculate, okay, they have a, they have, uh, it's 25% off the whole grade parent led, which I already have so many books. It's not, doesn't make sense. So the next option is if I already have the books for most of them, would I purchase the five video course that's 50% off? So it's 330 bucks for just like a subject, like math videos. And it comes with all the math books. So it's 330 bucks. So it's half off, which that's still high. I mean, if you compare this to other curriculums, you can be like 50 to 60 bucks in with ACE, PACES, Christian Light Education, you know. So if you kind of just break it down, everybody's got different prices. But if you want those videos, that's the thing, okay? So I calculate if I bought five videos just for Audrey, that's almost the same price as if I bought the whole grade. So then in my mind, I think, okay, what if I did some videos for Audrey and some for Nora? But I'm debating on giving Nora the whole sixth grade of BJU Press. I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what direction to go. With Nora, I'm, I mean, I feel like it'd be so easy to just do the whole video in, the whole grade in video for BJU Press grade six. But I have enough curriculum and there's other things that I would like to buy and I wouldn't spend near as much. So I'm contemplating what to do. So in my mind, I see that, okay, it's $873 with the discount if I do the whole video with books, which that would kind of suck because I already have these books. And then if I was to do some videos for Audrey and some for Nora, you know, it's $165 per subject, video led. So then I, I look at how much time and I just try to think, what would Audrey like? And then I start making ideas of like, what would be ideas that we would consider for math, English, science, penmanship, Bible, history, you know, the whole thing. And then here is kind of what I've gathered. I started looking at all the stuff that I had. So most of this I already have. So I'll just kind of go through it. With English, I already have everything for Rod and Staff. So she could do that. I have Christian Light Education. I have three or four light units. I would need maybe six more. I do already have a brand new Abeka language three and all the teacher's guide, everything, the teacher's answer key, everything. And we have BJU Press. For math, Matthew C, 
I, when you buy their, their course, you get, you got to call them, I think, but you get lifetime videos. So I have the DVDs, but I'd rather just log on. So I already have, I already paid for lifetime membership for the videos. So all I got to do is spend 40, 50 bucks on some new books and test books and I'm done. But I have some stuff here already, the Gamma and the Delta. Um, I already own the math, BJU Press. Reading, I could buy CLE or I could use Nora's old BJU, the ones that I got for free and paid a little here, there. Or Pathway Reading, that's also another cheap solution. Um, Abeka, I already have a brand new cursive book. Still not sure if I would use that. Um, spelling, I already have a brand new Abeka grade three spelling. I could buy the 180 days of spelling from christianbook.com. History, I have some leftover ace paces and then BJU, and that's the nice thing about ace paces. So that was Nora's, but whatever she doesn't complete, all I got to do is fill in the gaps. I don't have to buy one whole workbook and throw half of it away. I can just add on some more ace paces and I have the full grade or the full subject of history with ace paces. And then I have the BJ Press book and then science, I could do ace paces. I already pay for Generation Genius, which is like online videos and it's super fun. They have everything built for homeschooling. It's not really Christian based. Um, they do lots of laboratory experiments. So the kids enjoy that. And then I already have BJ Press. For Bible, I would probably purchase CLE or I would purchase the BJU video of Bible or I would buy master books or some sort of a little Christian book off christianbook.com. Like I would buy some sort of a Bible grade three workbook. Um, for penmanship, I could buy pen time or I might even already have pen time. So basically, I'm just going to kind of show you. I have some ace paces left over from Nora. So I could just add a little bit more. There's the scores. The score keys so i have quite a bit of science and history here i already have the grade three spelling so i wouldn't have to spend much money there well at all obviously i actually i don't know how but i accidentally bought extra spelling and extra cursive books so i i actually have three of these brand new um oh i hear the kids being vocal um, so there's the cursive from uh, Abeka. I don't know. It seems a little bit much. We have not done it yet. And I think it's because it's a little bit much. But we'll see if we do it. Here's the Abeka Language 3 that I have brand new. I can hear the kids. Okay. I love it when I do a video and I'm like, kids, I'm going to do a video. Everybody be cool. And they're like, no, we would never do that. No, I'm joking. Okay, then I have brand new BJU Press English 3 here. So, I mean, it's really, it's like a huge blessing that I, uh, hey, be quiet. So awesome. It's really a blessing that I already have all these things. And that's why I acquire things. And um, I'm the kind of person that like, if I have a little extra money here or there, I like to buy things in advance or pay things off or prepay things in advance. And then I don't have to deal with it later. So that's kind of the way I like to go. Um, and there's always different seasons for everything. So, you know, it is what it is. There's times of the year where I have more money come in and there's times of the year where I have less money come in. So I try to... I bought this curriculum at the, uh, you know, in my season or near the end of my season when we had a lot of income coming in for some of the businesses. So these are just all brand new and I already have all the teacher's guides and the reader books and everything for this. And then here is the BJU Press Math. This is the reviews and this is like a really cheap way if you ever wanted to get into this and not spend a bunch of money. You would buy the reviews and the review workbook answer book. It's just black and white, but it's like almost identical to this page, but they just change up the questions. So it looks the same for the most part, but it's just if they didn't do so well and you're like, man, <laughs> that did not go well. Let's, let's practice that again before we move forward. Well, then that's when you would do this. So... Okay, I don't want to do like, I'm not trying to do like a whole flip through. I've already done flip through, I believe, of everything. So here's the BJU Press. So it's funny, I, I wasn't even like thinking of doing this. You gotta tell, you guys gotta be quiet up there, okay, Gabriel? 
tell her I'm doing a video. Um, this one's the color. It's the regular workbook. But I, you just don't realize how much you have sometimes until you start going through. And this is why I save stuff. Noah, Noah, my husband, he knows not to mess with my homeschool stuff. Like that's, that's my territory. I tell him just, just that's, it is what it is. It is what it is. If he's like, oh, you have so much homeschool stuff. I'm like, shh, I don't care. It is what it is. <laughs> we are, we are saving up for the future. And quite literally, this is a prime example. So Noah likes it when I'm like, oh, I already, I already have all this. I don't have to buy anything. He's like, oh, really? Like, that's, that's awesome. So here's the Rod and Staff English. So it's really hard. I mean, I basically have, I actually have four potential English choices, and three of them are already paid for and just sitting there free. So this is the, the Rod and Staff. This is the Teacher's Guide. I might not try to tuck all those back in. There's too much trouble. And then there's the workbook pages and the test. And then here's the student book. So, I mean, you know, what would you guys do? I mean, would you do a little bit of everything or would you just pick and choose? You know, what would you do? I, I mean, I've got a couple choices here. So there's the... Um, and this will always be free because it's a textbook. It's not a consumable like these are. Okay, then here, and some of the stuff I just bought real cheap at the bookstore. Nora, you guys be quiet. They're not. They just don't listen. It's funny. It's like when you get on the phone, that's when your kids suddenly start talking so much. It's awesome. So this, we didn't really do this, but it's it's an option. This is Science 3 of Rod and Staff. It's real old school. Like, it's it's just, like, real basic. Easy reading. Just real basic. And then here is the Community. I got this real cheap at the bookstore, too. It was, like, you know, not expensive. So, you just real simple. Guys, I need you to be quiet. Okay, then I've got some Matthew C, Gamma and Delta. And Nora can fly through these. I have no idea if Audrey's going to be like that. It's, you know, whatever works. But every kid's different. Um, I like the way Matthew C teaches. It's like really easy to understand. And the lessons are not long. BJU, their videos, man, they are long. I mean, they're about 30 minutes on average. But like Matthew C, it could be like five to 10 minutes. It's just not long. And Matthew C, they teach in like mastery style, I think it is. And this is just something I got from Sam's Club. It's just like a all around book. And then I have some CLE grade three. Oh, and I do already have the reading. So that's an option. I already have the reading from CLE. All I got to do is buy the teacher's guide and the workbooks, the light units, or the light, light units, yeah. So there's reading. I mean, really, it would just be buying Bible. And then here's the language three from Christian Light Education, which I mean, I, I don't think I would do this since the other stuff's already there and it's free. But I mean, I don't know if I don't know. I've even thought about if, you know, I have curriculum and I end up choosing other stuff and if I end up with leftover, you know, down the road, I could always give it to somebody if I needed to, you know. Oh, there goes the domino effect. Okay, here's America's Story from Master Books. I do have the teacher. Oh, I have the other book. All right, okay, so I have the other book. I don't know where it is. Um wasn't really, I don't like the style as much as the BJU Press workbooks. I do like their, the t the student book, the student text. And I just paid 15 bucks and bought their audio book. And it's like five and a half hours long. So I could power through. If I just had Audrey read just America's Story 1, she could just read along with the audio book because now I own it. 
And I wouldn't even care if she did this or not. I mean, if she wanted to, fine. But I, I don't know if I'm going to do this. It's just, I have it. There it is. Okay. Then I have the Abeka Art Projects. I paid like a dollar or two dollars for this at McKay's Bookstore, I think. You know how I find those deals sometimes. So I just kind of keep stuff around. Keep it for a rainy day. Okay, so there's that. And then um, I do have the social studies from Christian Light Education. That's like the Canadian one. So um, it's, it's just the Canadian social studies. That's the teacher's guide. So, I mean, you know, could use this. Okay. And then here's the actual workbook. Looks like, looks like, uh, we may have done a little bit in here, but mm, no big deal. That'd be Nora. I think we bought this for like the grade two time frame because I'm Canadian. So I was like, oh yeah, you got to learn your, your real roots, Nora, which I'm, I live in America, but I mean, I've been here for so many years, but I am Canadian. Like we lived in Canada. We had a condo in the Keys when I was little. So I would stay half the year. I would go to a private school in Canada and then a private school in Florida Keys and when we would fly there, they would just grab my Abeka books and like the teacher would just rip out some pages and be like, we're here, catch up. And uh, I would just continue on. And then our family moved to uh, the area full time, this particular area full time when I was nine. And so I've really been in America since I was like nine, like full time. But yeah, so anyways. So then I have a hardcover version of this. This is BJU Press English. This is the older version. They have a new one, but I don't care. I got this. I think I got this free. Or is it, no, it's the other one. The other one that's like in really rough condition. I got the other one, book A. And then I got this um, answer, work text, the workbook answers for free in the McKay's bookstore bin. So all I had to do was buy this from BJU Press. And I bought this on eBay for like eight bucks, I think, or something. But um, if, if you decide to get something like this, if you find a deal on an older edition, it's no big deal. A lot of the stories are the same. A lot of stuff is the same. They just change pictures and, you know, maybe a couple stories here and there. But if you're really wanting the workbook, you don't have to have it, but just check on their website before you buy an older edition and make sure that they're still selling the older workbook on their website. I would think they do. They're pretty good about that. But um, I mean, I would have felt comfortable just buying the reader books and just letting Nora read and moving on. So whether we had the, uh, the workbook or not would have made no difference to me. And you can get these books currently at the McKay's bookstore in Knoxville, and they probably have it in Chattanooga, but you can get these like so cheap. I just did a video where I was there. I mean, you can spend like low dollars, books that might be like $50, $65 on BJ's website. You can get them for like a dollar, $5, $12, you know. So, I mean, what do I care? It's just reading. And we don't really need to do the reading video. I mean, I've thought about buying it, but why spend the money? So this is like what the workbooks look like. It's nice, but you know, whatever. The other cheap option is Christian Light Education Reading or Pathway Readers Reading. Um, that's another good option. So anyways, so far I've got a lot of stuff here, so it's pretty cool. But anyways, just kind of wanted to show you guys how I plan for, you know, the following year. You know, I start doing my homework, checking prices. I always... It always ends up being like, I'll be like, I have this for free and I could get this really cheap. And then I'll be like, Noah, for $100, I could have everything set for Nora for this next grade. And he's like, oh, that's great. Yeah, that sounds great. You should do that. 
And then I end up spending way more because I'm like, well, I ended up doing this and this and this. And I bought BJU this. And it ends up being so expensive when you go with that. Unless you do the the cheap ways of getting, you know, this kind of stuff. But I think I still paid like 30 bucks for this. So I think I was, it was like 30, 35. I don't know. So, you know, you're still in like 40, 45 bucks. I don't know what it was. You could have just bought Christian Light Education or Pathway Reading at that point. But anyways, just kind of wanted to show you, you know, what we have lined up for Audrey. This is already going to go in a cubicle. I'm, I'm already putting, you know, grade three there. And it's it's already going to be put away in a specific cubicle just for her so that we know, we see it, it's visual. She's taken care of. We don't really have to spend much more money. Um, and realistically, even if it comes down to Bible, I could just have her read the Bible with me. So I don't have to buy a curriculum. It's not that complicated. Um, so anyways, I'll also, I have other penmanship books so I have other Abeka different grades manuscript and cursive so I'm I'm like definitely good on penmanship so I'll see you guys later bye bye